Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to Infigyan. In today's video, we have one very interesting radical equation which we are going to solve for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing our denominator cannot be 0 for real x. So I can write x can't be negative 4. Now I will add x to both sides or we can take minus x to the RHS. We will write equation square root 2 minus x over 4 plus x equal to x plus 10. Now we can cross multiply. So square root 2 minus x this will be equal to x plus 4 times x plus 10. Now we can write a square root 2 minus x. This can be written as 9 minus x plus 7. So 9 minus 7 is 2. In RHS we can write x plus 4. 4 we can write x plus 7 minus 3. So 7 minus 3 is 4. x plus 10 is there. So we will write x plus 10 can be written as 7 plus 3. Now you can see x plus 7, x plus 7 and we will consider 3 as b. Then this is a minus b times a plus b. So I will write here identity a minus b times a plus b. We will write this equal to a square minus b square. So we will write our equation as square root 9 minus x plus 7 equal to x plus 7 whole square minus 3 whole square. Now let us consider substitution is straight away x plus 7 suppose equal to m. So equation will write here square root 9 minus m. This will be equal to m square minus 3 square is 9. Now we will consider squaring both sides. Power 2, power 2. Now this is square root and the square will be over from left hand side. So we can write 9 minus m. This will be equal to m square minus 9 whole square. Now we will subtract m square from both the sides. So let's write minus m square minus m square. Now I will take negative 1 common from LHS. So we can write minus of m square plus m minus n. RHS will be writing a plus b times a minus b. So m square minus n plus m. In other bracket m square minus 9 minus m. Or we can write minus of m square plus m minus 9 equal to m square plus m minus 9 times m square minus m minus 9. Now we will write all the terms to RHS. So I will write m square plus m minus 9 times m square minus m minus 9 plus m square plus m minus 9 equal to 0. Now you can see m square plus m minus 9. m square plus m minus 9. Let's take common. So I will write m square plus m minus 9. In the bracket we will write m square minus m minus 9 plus 1 equal to 0 or we can write m square plus m minus 9 times m square minus m minus 8 equal to 0. Now from product 0 rule we can write here either m square plus m minus 9 will be equal to 0 or 
m square minus m minus 8 will be equal to 0. So we have to solve two quadratic equations. I will use quadratic formula m will be equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. Here a is coefficient of m square so 1 b is coefficient of m so 1 and c will be constant so negative 9. Let's plug in these values to our formula. We will get minus 1 plus minus a square root of 1 square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 9. So I can write plus 36 over 2 times 1 is 2. So we will be getting 2m values negative 1 plus minus square root 37 over 2. Now we are going to solve our second quadratic equation which is m square minus m minus 8 equal to 0. m square minus m minus 8 equal to 0. So I will write m will be equal to minus b. So I will write minus of minus 1 plus minus the square root of b square. So minus 1 is square minus 4 times 1 times minus 8 over 2 times 1 or I can write 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4 times 8 32 over 2. Now 1 plus 32 is 33. We will write 1 plus minus square root 33 over 2. So again we have two solutions. Let me write here m equal to minus 1 plus minus square root 37 over 2 and 1 plus minus square root 33 over 2. Now we have to find out which solution we are going to accept and which we have to reject. So I will write our equation in terms of m. So I will be writing square root 9 minus m. This was is equal to m square minus 9. So RHS can be written as m plus 3 times m minus 3. Now condition number 1 from LHS, this radicand must be positive. So I can write here m should be less than 9. This is condition number 1. And from RHS, uh, this side must be positive. So I will write two condition. Either m should be less than negative 3 or m should be greater than 3. Now we have to take intersection of these two conditions. So I can write from here, once we will take intersection, then we can write from here, m must be less than minus 3 and m must be in the interval 3 and 9. So either our answer should be less than negative 3 or our answer should be in the interval 3 and 9. Let me write here, m should be less than minus 3 or m should be in the interval 3 and 9. Let me write m once. Minus 1 plus square root 37 over 2. Minus 1 minus square root 37 over 2. 1 plus root 33 over 2. 1 minus root 33 over 2. Now I will find out or using calculator we can write the approximate values. So this value is 2.51 approximately. Second value is negative 3.51 approximately. Third is 3.4 and fourth one is approximately minus 2.4. Now condition is written here. 
we have to pick only those solutions which are in this interval. So we are going to accept this one minus 3.51 and 3.4. The remaining two would be rejected. So these two solutions we are going to reject. Now this is the value of m and we have to find out x. The unknown is x. So I will subtract 7 from both the sides. So I will write minus 1 minus root 37 over 2 minus 7. And second I will write 1 plus square root 33 over 2 minus 7. So m minus 7 is x. In LHS I will write x. Minus 1 minus 14 minus 15 minus root 37 over 2. 1 minus 14. So minus 13 plus square root 33 over 2. So we have only two real solutions. x equal to negative 15 minus square root 37 over 2 and minus 13 plus square root 33 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.